What is going on guys? This is Mia Sin. Welcome to my blue eyes testing video. I'm not gonna waste any of your time. Let's get right into it. So I'm going first. I activate desires. My opponent ashes me. I'm like, wow, I'm definitely gonna lose this game. Nebula Dragon, special summon the Dragon Spirit of White. And then make Draglubion. I get Gamma on top. So I'm like, are you kidding me? There's just nothing I have. So if my opponent has a one card starter, I just lose. And I don't know why I went for like normal summon Whitestone of Ancient after thinking that I could have uh, made Link Rebo because obviously I'm locked under only being able to normal or special summon light or dark dragon monsters because of the nebula dragon so I really can't make the link rebo so yeah that normal summon was kind of a waste uh, my opponent is just passing there the gamma top deck is horrible what is my opponent even playing just a lot of dragma cards with spriggans huh and uh, way too many hand shafts that's why that's why he's breaking but yeah I revive back my dragon spirit of white and then I attack for 31 because in main phase 2 I'm summoning a monster with lower attack and then I get uh, my blue eyes white dragon special summon from deck no reason to waste an ash on something that just summons a blue is a vanilla monster from the deck and besides he can attack over it with the fleur de lis but now i'm going to be able to go for that azure eyes and next turn i can just pop off from there i'm going to be able to get a, a little too much and i think this is going to be game right here in literally just a matter of seconds yeah then gear send attack attack and that's it that's all so how, that's how i won game one let's get into the next one okay this was a really good game so i go first bingo machine go uh is that in the name yeah bingo machine go wow that's crazy i get impermed on like my only play so i'm like geez i'm gonna lose this game <laughs> yeah, alright, Link Rebo pass, reinforcement of the army to search another- I don't know why he searched another ray, he could have searched the rose, but... Okay, yeah, fair enough, whatever. Uh, yeah, okay, sure, so excavate the Widow Anchor because you're good at the game, unlike me. Attack directly is a huge misplay, by the way, he should have uh, attacked over the Link Rebo. I think that would have made infinitely more sense. Sending the Engage so you can recycle it back when you don't have three three plus spells is just a huge misplay I always see beginners doing, but it's just definitely incorrect. Definitely don't do that. Yeah, he's just kind of banking on his follow-up doing everything, which, to be fair, isn't necessarily incorrect, but if I get lucky with a card that allows me to unbrick here, I might be able to to win but I obviously I don't so I, I can't do anything uh yeah normal summon and then pass and then link rebo <laughs> summon blue eyes from yeah dragon spirit of white banish and yeah I really I literally can't do anything so in theory my opponent should be able to have game here yeah if he can normal summon and then make the access code combo widow anchor steal my uh my dragon spirit of white this is only a normal monster on the field and uh, sorry hand and grave so yeah in theory this should have been game but for some reason he just wants to to be nice he doesn't want to kill me i don't know if he even has the access code combo uh he actually does so i don't know why he didn't really go for it kind of didn't make any sense unless he like randomly went through all of his veilers but even then i just feel like you should have had access to it so yeah this is what happens when you miss your chance to otk because now i might be able to win this game i go dragon spirit of white he doesn't even shark in the correct card and then when he goes widow anchor i just go okay yeah sure that's fine with me you just tag out for blue eyes white dragon banish your multi-roll and now you're kind of in nothing Negate that ray and then attack directly for 3k. Return of the Dragon Lord summon Blue Eyes, a uh, Dragon Spirit of White, and then banish. I also don't understand why he didn't chain. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Summon Harbinger, pass. I feel like I should have died anyway. So sometimes when people realize they misplay, they keep on misplaying after, like again and again and again. And this is something that's really accurate, like the, in real life, because they still have a chance to redeem themselves. But since they're kind of like under the tilt of, oh, I should have beat you like a while back. What am I doing? Like, I really have had this game they just you know settle on mediocre and uh, suboptimal plays i managed to win an unwinnable game uh, like i said this definitely does happen in real actual life sometimes when you look at your hand you genuinely have a zero percent chance to win so you're like i'm just gonna scoop but you play it out and you realize that your opponent is misplaying so much that you might as well just play it out because you might win but yeah let's get into the next one Okay, so a completely different opponent. I'm going first again. Desires doesn't get ashed. Feels good. But my hand isn't really good. Bingo, Bingo Machine gets me the true... Oh, so, sorry. What's the... Yeah, the true light. And then, yeah, Draglubion can't get imperm. So that's... At least that's a good thing. But it's not even like I had a good going first. I'm pretty sure I lost the dice roll. This guy made me go first. I mean, it's Bradish. So it does make sense that it goes second. Uh, Hayate send uh, Afterburner. Not engaged. Finally. That's yeah, finally. I feel like people always do that misplay. And yeah, Afterburner pop the uh, Harbinger set uh, Widow anchor and not two widow anchors interesting I, I don't know i don't know why but uh, that's that's fine and yeah i mean it's not even like i could otk through you know this widow anchor and everything but i can still do quite a lot widow anchor number one is here and yeah i, I definitely would have said the the other widow anchor honestly i definitely would have 
It's not like I really had a lot of ways to... Anyways, yo, the Ghost Bell here is really bad because he gets the Ray follow-up, so I'm like, oh no. It's like out of every hand shab that I could have hit me, Ghost Bell was actually the worst one here. And yeah, attack, he gets the Afterburner, which is also the best card that he could have uh, uh, taken because now if he threatens that uh, the True Light, I'm going to be losing this game. What am I going to do here? He goes Foolish Goods, which is also a pretty good top deck because that makes him go from one to three spells in Grave. And I really have to bounce back my own uh, Xyz monster that he's trying to target with the Afterburner. Otherwise, he's going to be able to pop the True Light and destroy all my monsters, meaning that I won't have a single follow-up and I have to tribute my Heretic Seal if I want to get a monster that gets me a follow-up because my graveyard has just barely any resources. And yeah, unfortunately, this is this is where I have to deck thin and get a useless card from my deck to my field because I banished everything else that I really wanted. Unfortunately, that desire sometimes is uh, great, but sometimes it isn't. So yeah, uh, the area zero pop, uh, no, multi-roll pop the area zero and then attack, attack. Definitely feel like he could have done a, a bit better again though, but yeah, it's not the, it's not the same opponent, just just letting you know. And I'm always, um, I, I hide the name so people uh, can safely be anonymous when, when I feature these replays. And yeah, I get the perfect top deck. The action that I'm trying to do, the Whitestone of Ancient Target Dragon Spirit of White, is completely unnecessary. I'm just trying to bait the Shark Cannon, and if he falls into the bait, well, the Return of the Dragon Lord can just summon Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Widow Anchor cannot do anything about it, because it's a monster that cannot be negated, therefore you cannot steal it with Widow Anchor, so if I try to attack over that Shizuku, it, the attack will absolutely go through and I win the game, so he scoops it up because it doesn't matter, he could, he could have had 20 cards in hand, 65 billion Widow Anchors, and I still would have won, but let's get into the next one. Okay, another relatively competitive deck in a way-ish, kind of, not really, I don't know, yeah, maybe, it, it depends, okay, it depends, but yeah, it's Dragoonity, and the deck is uh, pretty good, so he's going to be making that Gay Derg, and I have to Valor that, but it doesn't matter because he has the, the really good extender, so he can kind of full combo as if nothing uh, ever happened, unfortunately, so yeah. Gaydurg, and then special summon it with the glow graveyard effect. Search for, uh, yeah, I don't know why, ducks, uh, actually, yeah, it makes sense, maybe, I don't know, it's, yeah, actually, it's probably good. Alright, Gaydurg, get that, uh, Kuz. Oh, yeah, that's the level 4, so you can make the Batsha or something. Yeah, but he, he didn't really go for it, so I'm like, uh, what is he doing? And also, Trishula, just to banish one card? I don't know, it just kind of looked sketch. I, I don't... Maybe Trishula is correct, but this line of play made no sense. Like, he, he ju it just looked like he had so much at, at his disposal. Now, his only interruption is an Ash, which is generic, so I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Alright, Bingo Machine, uh, summon uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon with Nebula, Galaxy Eye Cypher... See, this is why yeah, I actually mentioned this in my deck profile, how you could steal the monster and then make Cypher X on top and then make Cypher Blade on top of your Cypher, pop a card, deal a lot of damage, and oh my god, this was a misclick. Um, yeah, I thought I could normal summon, but uh, it said activate instead, so I was like, ah shit, and that's because of the uh, Nebula Dragon, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that definitely don't do this kind of stupid play where you get rid of your own Xyz to summon like a vanilla monster. But yeah, he can't win because Ravine with no discards is bad. Let's get into the next one. Okay, Virtual World. He goes Desires, Banish to... Yeah, okay, yeah, that's not really good. Yeah, I mean, what can, what can I say? Uh, when you brick in the Virtual World deck, you really can't do a single thing. But it's fine because I also can't do that much because I'm trying to play super, super conservative. I, I didn't even know what deck he was playing. I thought maybe it could be a trap deck, so I'm like, why would I just vomit my entire hand, maybe lose to a Torrential and then scoop it up after that? Makes absolutely no sense, so I'm playing it super, super slowly. And yeah, Call by the Grave on the Nyan Nyan. I still believe he should be able to win it, though, uh, if he just... I don't know, it just, just stays in this game because he still has the Imperm and the King... Yeah, okay, no, actually he scoops it up. I don't, I don't know why, uh, but what would have been a stop deck another Imperm? You're not good at the game. You're just... You, you need to start sacking, man. Stacking, 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 or sacking. Well, actually both. This is skill in Yu-Gi-Oh, honestly, nowadays. It's not even, you know, making the correct decisions. It's drawing better. You, you just have to improve your skills at drawing good hands. But let's get into the next one. Okay, this time our friend did draw a much better hand. I mean, look at this, man. It, it, this looks like full combo, right? It, it looks like full combo, but, but, he banished his only trap and he drew into the other trap. So the Lulu cannot send a trap with the King Long, therefore it cannot search a monster. So in other words, this hand that looks playable actually isn't playable. So uh, yeah, it feels bad. I don't know why he ashed the Sage with Eyes of Blue though. It's not a really good move, but I mean, who cares? I, he, he, he had the freaking Imperial Order for my spell anyway, so it's all good 
in the hood. I tried to banish that uh, back row, which is the Chuche. I think he should have made... Uh, no, actually, I think it, it, I think it was correct to only set, uh, set one Chuche. Yeah, I don't think he's necessarily playing incorrectly here. And then activate the King Long, even though it's negated, because whatever it... You're only really trying to get a Virtual World Monster on the field, a Virtual World card, so you can start triggering the in-hand effects. You don't really care about its actual effect. As a matter of fact, you want this in the graveyard a bit more. And what can I really do with my hand? Absolutely nothing, because I'm still under Imperial Order, and I didn't want to banish the Imperial Order because I thought that he was on, you know, top deck mode and he needed something actually good. I didn't want him to, like, maybe draw another Desires or Prosperity or Kowloon, and there is absolutely no way I win, so, yeah, I scoop it up, let's get into the next one. Which is also the last, and, uh, yeah, I'm going first, I send Blue Eyes White Dragon and White Stone of Ancient, I revive back the Blue Eyes, I make Spirit, I set one, and I pass. So, uh, will this be enough against, uh, the Virtual World deck? Well, maybe, maybe, we never know. So, yeah, reveal GG and then make the King Long. Oh, actually, th this was, yeah, uh, this shocked me when he sent, uh, the Kowloon, but if he sent the King Long and used its effect, I just would have negated it with the Blue Eyes Spirit. So he had to send something relatively irrelevant so he could banish it with King Long and then negate my Blue Eye Spirit. So it's not like he misplayed or anything. I think he, he's playing pretty well. Anyways, I, I obviously I have to tag out into something like Azure Eyes, not Moonlight. It wouldn't really do anything here. We'll just give him back like a virtual world monster. Obviously, he won't be able to use the effect, but still. Uh, discarding the Nibiru gives me a lot of knowledge for next turn. And now he goes for Kowloon, goes for Charge Warrior. I'm not gonna use my Destined Rivals yet. Now I use it because he kind of threatens my... Uh... Actually, he could have attacked and made Zeus, huh? Yeah, he could have done that, so I, I don't know. M maybe I'm missing something, but I feel like that's definitely a play that he could have done. And the Azure Eyes cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects, so the Chuche really just wasn't a play here. I, I don't, also don't really know. Sometimes people use their effects without reading the opponent's cards, especially on EDO Pro, where you can hover over a card, and it'll actually tell you, cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. It's really not that complicated. Whereas this one, it was summoned after, so you see there is no notes underneath its uh, stats, whereas Azure Eyes and the Blue Eyes Red Dragon that already existed before, uh, there are some, so I don't know, but yeah, whatever. Uh, Dingirsu gets impermed, but I'm like, that's fine, because now I get to kill you for real. Nebula, summon Blue Eyes, make Draglubion, summon Neuromon Dragon, and guess how much damage this is gonna be? Approximately a lot, so Merry Christmas 22k to your face, it's just so beautiful, but uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for my Blue Eyes testing video, thank you so much, and make sure you like and subscribe, that's, I'm, I'm almost begging you at this point, I, I mean, I am begging you. Yeah, I'll see you guys very soon actually. Take care.